Just woke up in the bloody hostel. Busy day today, I'll explain why, but first we've got to go and get a hostel breakfast. Come on, let's go. <laughs> this isn't going to be a normal vlog today. I'm going to take you on a shoot that I organised last night whilst at work and I'm doing this morning. So we've got breakfast and then we've got to go hire some camera gear and then we've got to go to location. Oh. Can't eat pancakes like that. Right, busy day, busy day. I haven't done this in a while. I feel conscious again on the street doing this. Got ready. We've gone out to start this hectic day. First thing on the agenda, I don't want to spend any money, but I need to rent out some camera gear for this shoot. Uh, I'm not sure whether I need to rent a tripod, because mine broke, a slider and a stabiliser. But I don't know if I can afford all that, so I'm trying to decide between the stabiliser and the slider. The slider's cheaper, but I'm not starting now. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out when I go in here right now. Went with the crane, and we're just going to try and mimic slider shots with it, which will be interesting. Uh, so I've got three axis gimbal. I've got Lewis. We need to go meet the other talent. And then we're shooting. Oh, I wish I caught that on camera. That was great. God damn it, Lewis just fell down the curb. Um, so, here's what we're doing. Going to the hostel. Me too, but it happened the other day. We're going to look for my phone because I couldn't find it when I left. Oh, I heard it. We're going to get on the tram. Shoot Sarah. We're gonna shoot Lewis. We didn't get the shots of Lewis. We're gonna fly the drone. Because of my low battery. That was a failed mission. A failed mission with a drone. We're going to go to Cam Studios to meet Cam. We're going to come home. We're going to edit the video. We're going to send it off to the people I'm applying for a job with, which is why I'm shooting this. Leap of faith. We are lost. We're lost. We found the hairdresser. We found Sarah. We're now looking for the church and her house. Yeah? Yes. Turn it on. Good. You haven't seen this yet, have you? No. Alright, so yesterday I went and done a medical so that I can get my second year visa for here in Australia so that I can work here. I went and got it, I assumed, because of the perfect healthy specimen I am. I keep talking about hustle and like trying to build this business up yeah I'm still working in the bar and I've made a little bit of progress but I'm not where I want to be so I called around and emailed a load of production companies mainly people that do wedding videos I need to stop shaking the camera a few of them got back to me and they said yeah you sound cool we we want to meet up with you but first send us some of your work and I mean I've got work to send them but it's all uh, like it's all club stuff and it's really fast paced editing and it just doesn't show the same kind of thing that I need to show them I'm capable of. So I emailed them back, I said, give me a day, I'm going to round up some friends. That's really inconvenient. I said to him, give me a day, I'm going to round up some friends and I'm going to shoot something to send you that shows you what I'm capable of. That's more relatable to a wedding film.
So basically, I didn't want to settle. I didn't want to send them something that I wasn't 100% happy sending them. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go out. I'm going to shoot something. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to send it to them. And I'm going to do it in my one day off this week. So luckily, I've got some friends that would help out. And we're going to shoot a mock wedding video, just like 30 seconds long, um, just like prep. It's not going to be, we're not going to pretend it's a wedding because we haven't got the, the gear for it. Lewis is just, you know, going to put a shirt on. I'm going to film Sarah getting ready. We're going to film a meeting and, and I'm just going to film it in an editing style that's a little bit more relatable to a wedding. We're going to send it to the production companies. They're going to go, Pete, you're amazing. They're going to hire me. And then that's it. So when I was picturing Sarah's house, I've only been there once before I helped them move. I thought this building behind me was a church. Now it looks churchy, but it's actually a school. Um, but there is a church up there somewhere. So I'm gonna see if I can get a drone shot cheekily, very quickly, of the church and cut it in and make it look like we're standing over there when we're gonna be standing here. Um, we're gonna see if we can do that. I've got one bar of battery on my drone. I think it's gonna try and auto land when I take it off. And I don't know if I can fly it here, so we'll see what happens. Whose idea was it to make that beeping sound on the remote? I get it, it's important that it's not in the air when it runs out of battery, but beep, let me acknowledge the beep and get rid of the beep. Don't just sound like a car alarm. What's the point of having the Mavic? Oh yeah, it's so stealthy. Except I'm gonna set a car alarm off when I'm returning home or got low battery. I asked and they've kindly said I can film in there. Um, so we're gonna get a few shots of that. It'll tie in nicely with what I'm trying to do. I'm not on the street setting up a gimbal, which is weird, but hey. That did not go well. Sarah's rushing for work because her hair appointment took... Why is that shaky? Because her hair appointment took a little bit longer than she anticipated, so... We thought we was going to have like an hour. We thought we was going to have about an hour. I'm just going to be able to set up some shots, place her lighter properly with a window and get some nice shots of her doing makeup. Turned out she sat in front of the mirror, she had like five minutes to do it, and I just got what shots I could, so... I'm not ecstatic about them, but hopefully I can make them work. We needed to get the tram home. We started walking towards the city and it looks like we're walking home. <laughs> we're getting closer and closer to the city and still no tram stop. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this video. I kind of put myself out there with these agencies and said, you know what, I'm going to go out and shoot something to show you what I'm capable of. So I kind of put the pressure on to make each shot great. Otherwise they're going to think that's all I'm capable of and so far I haven't managed to get truly great shots. Uh, so, yeah. Not, uh, not feeling too confident with it now, but... We're out here and we're doing it. I didn't, I didn't just send over the stuff I knew I wasn't happy with. At least I'm now attempting to make a good impression and actually secure one of these jobs and get my first job in what I want to do. Okay, so we didn't get the shots of Lewis. We, on the way back, was rapidly losing light, realized it was gonna be a rush. We weren't gonna get the shots we wanted. So we went and got some food, had a beer, and I started editing the shots I've got so I could get in my mind how I'm going to piece it together. Because I'm going to have to shoot it different to what I planned, which is fine. I've got to return the stabilizer tomorrow morning on my break at work. So I'm not going to have that for the rest of the shoot, which changes how I'm going to shoot things. I think I know how I'm going to do it. We're going to work around it. It's going to be fine. And we're going to finish shooting the day after tomorrow in the morning. And I'm going to have to shoot this now in a way where you don't see either of the two guys together. That's scary. Ah. 